Hi, YouTubers. Jeff Cote here with Ask PYS. We've got a question from another boater, uh, Jeremy. So Jeremy's asking a really common question, and I'm getting it more and more because I'm promoting this concept that you need to charge your battery bank at a minimum rate of charge. So for instance, an AGM or which is a lead acid battery or a flood of lead acid battery, the deep cycle battery should at least have 10% of its capacity as a charge rate. So if you have a 400 amp hour battery bank, you're gonna have 10% of that as a charge rate. So 10% of 400 is 40 amps. Now, great advice and easier to do with chargers or alternators, right? Where we can size a large alternator to be able to recharge a battery bank at the correct or appropriate rate of charge. And again, if you don't wanna do that, that's fine. But then the consequence is you're gonna have your batteries age prematurely. They're gonna soften. So that's why you wanna charge at a minimum charge rate. Now, here's the question from Jeremy. Jeremy says, but Jeff, I've got, what happens with solar, wind, hydro? I mean, how am I gonna get 10% of a charge rate to recharge my battery banks? And he's, great question from Jeremy. I'm like, how would you have a solar array that can actually give you 10% of your battery bank capacity as a charge rate? And the answer is, it's almost impossible, right? And on my boat, like I've got a pretty significant array for a 36 foot sailboat. My array is 450 watts. I have about a 900 amp hour battery bank. My alternator is 180 or 200, so that's no problem. My battery charger is a 150 amp battery charger, but my solar never gets there. So I basically, unless you have a mega array, or you have a huge wind generator or a huge tow generator, you're not gonna be able to recharge your battery bank at the ideal charge rate all the time. You just won't, you, just, you can't have it. It's just, you're not gonna have a solar array that big. And you don't wanna have a tiny solar battery bank so that your solar array is proportionally, you know, maybe you got a 400 watt array and you're like, oh, my 400 watt array, I'm gonna size my battery bank so that it has a minimum of 10. With solar, wind, and a tow gen, you do what you can, you know? You, you know, honestly, there's ideals in life, and then there's reality. And with solar and wind, you do what you can, and yeah, you might not get 10%, and it would be good sometimes if, you know, to maybe run the engine at a higher RPM to get a better, faster charge rate, or sometimes to connect the short power. And if you can't do either, that's okay too. You do what you can, and it's gonna be really hard for any of us to give the exact charge rate we want of our batteries from solar or wind. Thank you for watching this video. If you've got further questions and you're wondering about your own boat, please ask questions below or send us an email with your questions and we'll get to them hopefully as soon as possible. Also, we're trying to keep this channel ad free, so please donate on the PayPal so that we can keep doing these productions and also potentially buy one of our lovely hats on our merch store. Uh, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to our YouTube and get our weekly updates. We're posting about four videos a week right now. And also, thanks for watching.